Something really easy that we can do today is an array in Python. So let's say we encode uh, the information for an image. It uh, could be as simple as a one line matrix. So we could say the red color, the, so these are RGB values. So the green color and the blue color, right? So this is an array that has nine numbers in what could be a line or, or like a matrix. Uh, it's actually a three by three matrix. So it has nine values, nine integers. What we can do with this now is that we can say, convert this image and TensorFlow is going to convert to Tensor. So Tensor is the data structure TensorFlow uses to keep data. Might be a one line array or an image that is a 2D array or three dimensional arrays like voxels or multidimensional data. If we print this again, so print the image again after converting it, now we see this is a tf.tensor object with shape 3, 3. As I said, it's a matrix that is 3 by 3. So it's a shape 3, 3. So it contains 3 by 3 is 9. So it contains 9 values. And we have 25500, that's RGB values. How can we display this? So let's see if, you know, if we import here matplotlib and we just plot to show that image. We'll just do deactivate the access and we'll just try to show that image. Let's see what happens. We'll probably, you get that there, but that is actually just displaying the matrix of, of objects there as an image. So it's actually showing a matrix where this is 255, 0, 0, 0, 255, 0, 0, 0, 255. What we can do here is when we show the image, we can change the C map to be gray and let's see if that works. Yeah. So now we actually get the 255 is white and the zero is black and we can change this. Let's get more room here. So we could change, uh, without printing this. So let's actually merge these two cells. So we, or, or merge the entire thing. Let's just copy this over to here. Also image bar. So I can put this color instead of being completely black, I can say this is going to be a, a 50. So 50 means like it's a bit like lighter. So we get uh, gray and you know what happens here. So I'm, I'm going to have to put a zero here to get the grays because what this function does is that it stretches the values to go from zero to one. So it will get the minimum and make that zero and the maximum and make that one. And that way it contrasts the image a lot. So what we're going to do, maybe add this to be 200. Now we start getting those colors to be black and white color. But what we can do as well is here, we could say TF reshape and we can say this is a three by one image with three channels, right? So we'll say image and then the shape is this. And in summary, if we build an image like I had at the beginning, so we have a red RG, so green and blue, and I run this again, we get the red, green, and blue. So this is, if we change dimensions, so now we're going to get actually the width to be three instead of the height, we could put more rows next to this. So we could say, okay, now I have this, but I'm going to have here this to be an array so we can actually make this a bit more understandable if we do this yep so the shape doesn't match so now we want to reshape it to a three by three so we have a line that if we change for instance this color here so this value here are the rgb values for this block in there that cell and we could we could leave this like that and maybe say, okay, this is 127 and this is uh, 50 and, and we're just going to do that with all the colors to fade them to a darker shade of their color. What we have uh, here is a tensor that is getting represented as an RGB image. We have three by three, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pixels or yeah, pixels or units, and then three channels. So the color of this cell is defined by three elements, which are like zero, zero, and two to five. Hey, it's Nono. This video was part of the machine learning series. Please go ahead and like it if you'd like to see similar content on my channel. And subscribe if you wanna get notified when I publish new videos or when I go live. Thanks so much for watching. 
I'll see you next time.